Hey everyone, Peter Billigus here. Thanks for watching Money in the Movies. Coming up this week, it's James Bond week. I'm going to be reviewing the 2006 film Casino Royale. In that film, we're going to talk about a rather risky investment strategy known as short selling, which is a way to actually make money when the value of an investment goes down. On Thursday, I'm going to go back to the old school, all the way back to 1964, where I will review the Sean Connery James Bond classic Goldfinger, which starred Honor Blackman as the woman with the most notorious Bond girl name ever. Yeah, I won't say it here, but those Bond fans know what I mean. In that review, I'm going to serve up a quick lesson on economics, talking about the forces of supply and demand. On the Money in the Movies second reel episode about Casino Royale, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how short selling actually works, how people make money when their investments go down. And on the second reel show about Goldfinger, I'm going to be talking about investing in gold and silver. These days, it seems like everybody is investing in gold and silver. I mean, if you watch Fox News, every other commercial is about buying gold. So should you buy gold? And if so, how? Well, the quick answer is uh, no, you should not buy gold, you should buy silver. And by the way, there is a way to buy silver without ever losing a dime. Yeah, I know, I know. That sounds like a cheesy sales pitch, like I should slick back my hair and unbutton three more buttons on my rented polyester shirt. But it happens to be true. Well, so how does that actually work? How do you buy silver and never lose money? Well, all you need to do is just watch the Money in the Movies second reel episode where I review Goldfinger. So I hope you'll join me, Peter Billigus, for James Bond Week on Money in the Movies.